Hello and welcome back to Tech Solved. On today's video we're going to be looking at the new Kodi um, version 17 beta, um, which is really exciting. It, they've changed the whole layout of it. Um, a lot of people have been messaging me on, on the uh, other video like, oh it looks different. Um, and I was intrigued to have a look. So it's fairly similar. Um, and this is for Windows 10 um, as of the 21st of December 2016 is when I'm recording this video. Um, so this is the latest up to date available. So let's get started. First off, first off, all you're going to do is just open your web browser and go to Kodi, K O D I dot TV, as it is now saying on screen. Uh, once you're here, uh, you're going to go to downloads. Um, and if you scroll down, you have, oh, scan them. Once you're down, you've got loads of different uh, platforms that you can install it on. Obviously, I'm doing mine on Windows today, so we're just going to go for the, the better build um, installer there. Uh, so, it's going to download, um, shouldn't take too long, depending on your internet, so I'm just going to skip to when it's done, because I'm sure you don't want to sit around for two minutes. Cool, so I've got like 12 seconds left uh, of this download. If you are upgrading from previous versions, it's really simple, all you have to do is uninstall it, it saves all your user data and just reinstall this version, uh, it means you don't have to do anything again, um, you don't have to reinstall TV add-ons or anything like that, it just works. Um, which is really simple and easy, it takes two minutes to do. Uh, so, oh, sorry, once you're on this setup here, all you're going to do is just go all the way through it. If you want to change where it's saved, you can do. Not many people are too bothered. Um, and then this will take a couple of seconds to install. Uh, it shouldn't take too long at all. Do, 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 do. And here we go. Uh, and so we're just going to run Kodi straight from here. So, as you're about to see, if you've seen previous versions, it looks a lot different compared to how it is before. Um, so straight away it installs those updates here for you. Um, so yeah, you've got the menu down the left rather than across the front this time. Um, doesn't make it any less or any easier to use or to install what we're about to do. Okay, so um, to install your add-ons, um, so you can watch free TV and film, so we're just going to click on the little settings icon here, go to file manager, we're going to add a source, there we go, and we're just going to click where it says none, and then it's going to ask us for the address, okay, so the address we've got to add here is http semicolon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv add ons dot ag. Now, this is the same if you're going to install on any device. This is just the web address um, that Kodi looks for to install the um, files we need. Okay, so we're just going to OK that. We'll call it something easy. I'll probably put dot .fusion um, because if you put a dot, it means it's, it comes up at the front of the list and it's easier to find. You'll see later. Okay, so there it is. That's what we're calling it. Okay, and that is all done. So we're going to escape, uh, press the escape key to get out of there. So when you're on this page, if you go down side, you've got add-ons here. Now as you can see, I've already done this, but we're just going to ignore that fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on my add-ons. Okay, we go to the top, click on the two dots, and install from a zip file. Now when you click on this, it might ask you to go to settings and turn on um, developer options. Just just literally turn on install from um, external sources. It's just a security thing. It's fine, nothing to worry about. So once you've done that, come back to this page, store from a zip file. Now if you see the fusion here, um, this is what we put earlier, so it should be right at the top of the list. And we're going to click begin here, and we're going to click add the one that ends in add-on installer, plugin.program.uninstaller. If you click on that, it will then install that, and it should come up saying, in a second, that it is installed. There it is. So if you now uh, go back, cool. So now you can see down here you've got the add on installer. Now to open that, if you click on my add ons um, and click uh, the two dots and then all here, it will then come down. How we've got add on installer, there it is. So if we open this here, uh, you should then be able to install uh, Exodus pretty quickly. It's normally going to in the featured add ons because a lot of people like it. So if we go into there, there we go, we've got Exodus straight away. So if you click on that, install Exodus, install, so download really quickly, 
and there it is so that is now all installed so if we escape out here we go so once you're next you need to enable um, it so you can actually get on there okay once it's done let's open it up so now we're gonna go to here so we can watch any movies or TV shows for free straight here so let's go to the most popular movies and have a little see just to make sure it works let's go to the film let's go to Sully Sully I have actually I know for a fact this is on here um, at HD content because I have indeed watched it myself there we go so let's uh, just click on the top one and uh, should find it there we go you see full version in HD to watch uh, and it is a great film this I would recommend it definitely not going to find any more just because of copyright um, but there we go so that is Exodus on here okay so my name has been Lewis this has been TechSolve and I hope this helped you out you just like and subscribe check out some other videos and let me know um, what other videos you would like that would be great I hope this has been helpful to you all and I'll see you next time